Hello and welcome to the Sarah Living Life YouTube channel, which is a whole channel about what living with a disability can look like. And it's just about sort of fun and exploration and really how this is an element of human variation and something that is just a part of our lives in our world. So it's kind of fun for you to hang out and we can kind of explore what an adaptive alternative life looks like. <laughs> On today's episode, I'm super excited to share with you that Eric and I have moved into this new magical place. So you are currently hanging out with me in our middle bedroom, which is our like extra bedroom. We have like a little twin bed here for people to come stay over. It's like a little couch. This is sort of our like office and workout space. So I'm excited to gradually show you the different rooms as we navigate more through this channel, which is just so fun. It's so cute. I love it. <laughs> Eric and I also just came back from visiting San Francisco. It's the first time that I was able to sort of show Eric a little bit about my world, sort of, I didn't grow up in San Francisco, but I grew up in Northern California. My hometown was closer to Sacramento, um, but my father worked in San Francisco and we certainly spent a long time, a lot of time going into the city. Really, the city was a really important part of our childhood. It was always like a really fun, special occasion if we got to go into work with dad or if we sort of had some type of celebration in order to be able to go into San Francisco. So it has sort of a, a magical place in my heart. <laughs> and then it was fun to be able to show that, uh, share that with Eric too. We went out to San Francisco to visit a fantastic friend from college, Portia. I went to college at St. Mary's College, which is right in the Bay Area. Portia is just a fantastic friend from that whole college experience and really someone that we're learning how to grow and learn and how to just try to be a better person in the world and just all of that reflection that we did when we were like 18, 19, 20, 21. Portia threw a Harry Potter party, which was so fun. There was tons of decorations that were all Harry Potter themed that everyone worked really really hard on creating. There was lots of Harry Potter themed uh, desserts. There was letters that were coming out of the fireplace. She had all sorts of just like really fun things set up just to like be fun and have this party for no reason other than celebrating friendship and it was just so fun to be able to bring Eric here and have everybody meet each other and it was just awesome. So I'm excited to share with you a little bit about St. Mary's, a little bit just about who I was at 18 and what the growth has been in the past like, oh my gosh, 12 years, right? Wow, that sounds like so many years. <laughs> my junior year of high school, I was an exchange student and I lived abroad over in Italy. So when I came back from my senior year, thinking about college, where I wanted to apply to college, I had just spent a year away and I wasn't really ready to leave my family again. My family really wasn't ready, ready for me to leave again. So thinking about schools, I really wanted to stay sort of within the Northern California area. I really wanted to go to UC Davis, which is just down the road from where I was growing up. We had horses, we would take our horses in to receive care from UC Davis. So I just really liked UC Davis. I didn't quite know what I wanted to study, but I knew I wanted to be in the sciences. And UC Davis is, is certainly known for its agricultural sciences. It's known as a really great winemaking program. So I was just like, I want to go there. That's really what I had my heart set on. And then I applied to a couple of other schools, but I really had finished all of my applications in the fall of my junior year. And then my mom was like, you know what, why don't you apply for St. Mary's? I had gone to a Catholic elementary school and I was like, no, I don't think I want to do that again. <laughs> um, I did, I was interested in doing another study abroad program. So my mom knew that St. Mary's had a good study abroad program. In addition, they had this January term, which is sort of a fun part of their curriculum. St. Mary's will have a fall semester where you take, you know, your classes will last the full semester. And then you have a Jan term. So it's the entire month of January, you just take one class. And then you have a spring semester, which you'll have a full course load is like four classes. And then you'll have that for the spring semester and then school's out for summer. Um, so this Jan term is super fun because it is dedicated just one month that you're really deep diving into a topic and your classes are like two and a half hours a day. They um, are meant to be like fun, interesting classes. Every department sort of had the flexibility to put on these like cool, fun, special novelty classes that are really meant to sort of develop these like more rounded, deeper thinkers at St. Mary's, which I really loved. 
my first gen term i did my math series so i took math 14 so i could get my full calculus series done in my freshman year and then my second year i did a internship where i spent the month of january working at a high school in tucson arizona I was really developing like classroom support study sessions and i spent the full day in a classroom with a, a, another good friend of mine too and then my junior year i took the religions of india class in india it was through the um, theology and religious studies department and we studied six different religions in the country of india and we landed in new delhi we went up to mcleod ganj like we studied Buddhism and we saw the Dalai Lama and went up to this temple up there and then we sort of came back we went east we went west we went south like went to um, 21 different cities and it was just like so incredible and I learned a lot and it just was so stunning and beautiful and powerful um, and I really just fell in love with it I love the colors I love the fragrances I love the spices all of it there's just this really magical moment we helped these fishermen bring in a boat in the middle of the night and just seeing like how these stars like you couldn't even see the horizon line in the water the stars just sort of blended into the the beginning of the waves that curled up on the water and it just oh my gosh it was so magical and then my senior year i took it was called california gold and it was through the kinesiology department uh, it was like outdoor adventures type program so we went rock climbing and we were sort of studying like outdoor medicine we were studying physiology and it just was really neat to be able to to dive into these topics so that's something that i absolutely love about saint mary's it's in the east bay and it's just like these beautiful green rolling hills it is just like stunning there's this chapel that's like at the middle of this long road and there's trees on either side of the road and it just was like so gorgeous all of the buildings match right and that was sort of like a silly funny thing but i loved it it's all like this spanish style architecture so it's like the white walls with the terracotta tile tops and there's fountains it just is an incredibly stunning campus and I knew that I liked science. I had done really well in my biology, chemistry, and physics classes in high school. And it's just so funny because this is 18, right? And I'm thinking that like, I really love science. I think that it's so fascinating and I love learning how things work. I love understanding how sort of things came to be. And like, if you manipulate this part, like what happens, all of that, super fascinating. But I also really enjoyed public speaking. So even at 18, I really saw myself being uh, someone who maybe wasn't necessarily researching but more of what I wanted to do was really be that connection point for communicating research to people who aren't necessarily involved in the research so I really I would love to see myself at like different types of presentations or like conferences and really wanted to help communicate like scientific information to perhaps people who didn't necessarily have that scientific background. So at 18, I knew that. And I think it's so funny because now I am doing that. Like I certainly like did lots of different things between college and now, but it's just kind of funny that like those are the spaces where I'm the happiest. And like I knew that at 18 and I don't know why I thought they would be different, but who knows? So just trust yourself when you know that you're gonna do things or what you like. You can go up this hill and climb up to the cross. It's just this, this white cross that's on top of the hill and it just oversees the whole St. Mary's campus. And you can sit up there and watch the stars at night. And it's just such like a an important moment for people who go to St. Mary's, if, if this is something that they're connected to, is to make the hike to the cross. I just spent so much time up there with Portia, with people that I loved, really just like sitting and thinking and reflecting and dreaming about who I wanted to be and how I wanted to get there and what the world meant and how can we be better people in the world and what is it that we really feel like we're connected to. And I just like have this such like beautiful connection to that cross. I started a bio a major in biochemistry and then I decided to just go straight biology and graduated with a, a bachelor's of science in biology. But then it's sort of like, well, what do you do with all of that? Like go and help make the world better, right? So like serve those around you, which I just love. So, so leaving St. Mary's with all of this like bubbling personality and thought and then thinking of where I am today and just like the journey of going through that was tough, you know, like I, I became a flight attendant and then I moved out to Philadelphia and that was just really, really tough. There was lots of like dark times, there was lots of tears, there was lots of like ways I really wanted my life to work out and then it just 
didn't. <laughs> um, and I felt like I was always kind of going back and remaking up plans on what I wanted and what I thought I wanted. And just like so much of the world was just like, nope, that's not what's going to happen. And instead I became a flight attendant and then I got to travel all over the world. I got to meet so many, so many incredible people and have all of these opportunities that I, I wouldn't have had if I got to do what I thought I wanted. Yet the life that I have now is like absolutely everything that I would want. And the fact that I got to go to like Thailand for a week and, and then I got to go on a layover in Sitges, which is south of Barcelona, and just like waking up in this gorgeous hotel room that looked over this cascading mountain cliff into the water. And like, that's something I wouldn't have been able to do at 24. <laughs> um, but I had that experience because I was a flight attendant. So it's kind of fun, like figuring out who I am now and just knowing how these parts of me that have been the same since I was 18. But there was a lot of like growth and heavy stuff I had to go through in order to get here, but also really happy that I'm here now too. That I'm excited about fun advancements that's coming up. So I'm excited to share with you as they, they come to be. Um, and knowing that like, dark times are also gonna come again and that like I'm gonna fall on my face again a lot as we all do but just knowing that we're here in this journey together just so thankful for some of the friendships that I have had we're here to celebrate the amazing moments but also here to cheer you on to get through those tough moments because they're gonna happen and this is a pretty cool life and I'm really proud of the things that I've done for the most part <laughs> If my 18 year old self could hang out with me today, like I think she'd be pretty proud of myself, right? Like pretty proud of, of the different things that I've done and the places I went, even though they weren't at all what I thought I was gonna do and that that's okay. All right, well, I will see you. Um, make sure that you like, share and subscribe <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye.